as it would have been too cold to be riding just wearing a t-shirt. Today I have about 80 kilometers to ride to get to Kobo and to reach the same point where I started my ride. morning it was quite windy and the wind was all the time blowing against me so it was kind of heavy to fight against that wind but now I think the wind has changed a little bit and also my route has turned more towards east and maybe now even towards south so I'm, I think I'm now more going with the wind and the riding is getting easier. I'm soon arriving to Mietoinen. I have been riding about 38 kilometers, so I'm almost halfway and I've been riding almost three hours now. And I think I will have a break and eat something. Maybe just a little snack before I continue. Now I'm at the village of Munamaki. And I would like to tell you, share you a little story from my childhood about Munamaki. There is an old medieval church in Munamaki. And in my childhood, we were living here in the west coast. And we were once driving through the town of Munamaki and my parents told me that this medieval church that is very very old church and I was asking my mama oh is it as old as my mom <laughs> and I still get to hear about that that the medieval church of Munamaki is, is as old as my mother <laughs> I had a quick lunch break here at a bus stop but it was it was a great place to sit because it is in the shade and it has a bench and there are actually some other bikers two ladies right down there maybe I'm gonna follow them and head to Merimasku next
little unintentional detour here. So this is where I came from, from Askainen. And here is where you turn to Merimasku. But there is a sign there, this brown one, saying that there is Saariston Rengastie going that way, which is Livon Saari, the Livo Island. And that's where I got, went to, and that is actually a dead end. But when I got to the Livon Saari, I understood that this is not the place where I should be. And here you can see there's another sign also saying Saariston Rengastie. So unless you want to do a detour to Liponsari, which is a few kilometers extra, this is where you should turn to go to Merimasku and then to continue to Turku. somewhere in between Merimasku and Nantali, which is the next town I'm going to be riding through. Actually the last town I think before arriving to Turku. And here along the route there is this nice little country store. So I decided to get some ice cream because it's kind of getting pretty hot. It's still a little bit windy, which is actually good. Otherwise it would be maybe a little bit too hot to ride. But it is warm enough, I have to say. something to you about that place because I know most of my followers are from US so you are probably not so familiar with tiny towns in Finland well Nantali is known as the most sunniest place in Finland uh, I think it's statistically the place where there is most sunshine throughout the year and they use that for advertising themselves and also there is a proverb in Finnish that we say that when someone is extremely happy they are shining like the sun in Nantali so it's, it's already a part of the language also something that is interesting about Nantali is that there is the summer house of the president of Finland and this route is uh, gonna go right next to it so I think I might be stopping at his place to maybe have a cup, a cup of coffee or something I don't know if he's at home well okay maybe it's possible that he won't be offering me a cup of coffee but well we get to see the place anyway I, I don't know how near I'm allowed to go but we will see
is the summer house of the president. There are some buildings right here, but I think the actual house is further back. It seems like I'm not invited in, so no coffee with, with the Mr. President. There is some souvenir kiosk though. If I understood correctly, they, they, they do have these kind of tours in the garden sometimes, but I think I have to continue my ride to Osturku, which is 18 more kilometers, and not go to have a tour in the garden. There's only a few kilometers anymore to the downtown Turku, so I'm almost done with my ride. And my train is leaving in an hour, so I should be able to catch my train too. Don't have to wait for tomorrow to get home. Um, the road markings here haven't been exactly great. So riding from Nantali to Turku has taken a lot of time because the street signs are just a mess. That was three days, 250 kilometers and more than 200 kilometers of it riding my bike. And here I am back at the Turku Cathedral. Quite a ride. But now I have to hurry to catch my train to go back home.
now I'm on my way home on the railway station and once again the train ride wasn't as uneventful as I would have wished it would have been. The first train from Turku, well, the engine broke down and we stood still for a while and then they were able to get it fixed but it was still running kind of low power so it was going very slow but luckily my transfer had a long layover so I was able to get get to the my next train but also yes there was no restaurant car on that train and no trolley sales or anything so I wasn't able to get anything to eat and I had just rode like 100 kilometers <laughs> that day and I was hungry and I had to wait for more than two hours to get anything to eat when I got to Helsinki but I survived I'm here um, I would like to give my two cents about the Saaristo Rengastie the archipelago trail um, it was an enjoyable ride uh, it's perfectly doable in three days though you don't have really time to go to see any sites um, with that kind of schedule but I, I'm not a fast biker so I think it's really doable for anyone who is uh, even a little bit fit and um, I was wishing to see more like seashores and that kind of thing so I think landscape wise there was more fields than I had expected but uh, for me the most enjoyable part was the ferry rides I love those really and well the way signs are good in the archipelago because you're basically following the road and the way signs on the road is perfectly okay but then the way signs on the bike roads when you are coming from Turku to the archipelago and then when you are leaving the archipelago and returning to Turku they could have been more uh, I spent way too much time looking for the right route and a lot of Google Maps so uh, this is something I would like them to develop a little bit so make a little bit more and better way signs for people who are people who are riding with a bike that would make the route more accessible but it was an experience and now it's done and we will see what will happen next so see you soon